So yeah, we're back today. A couple of things to do on the car. Now, I know I shout out a lot of channels. Um, you know, there's Danny, Richard, Jason at Dino Days. I love Dino Days, love them. Uh, Chrissy and Ben at Cowbunga Car Diaries, love those guys as well. Uh, FM Free Bill, Modfix, uh, Gareth Danny Expression Culture. Um, Oh, Sulk Nation as well. I always forget about you sometimes. Always sometimes, it doesn't make sense. But um, yeah, there's another one, guys. There's another channel where I shout out quite a lot, which is Andy at Limitations. Now, if you remember from a few weeks, yeah, a few weeks ago, maybe? It was a few weeks ago. I tried to fit an FK2 uh, grill badge and it wouldn't fit and Andy got on the comments on the video and said mate I've got a grill badge I've never fitted I don't want it you're more than welcome to it I said oh brilliant mate ain't much nothing I was like oh you diamond you are a beautiful man he then turns around to me and says oh I've got someone who has sent me a set of their sequential hi their sequential uh, wing mirror indicators that may come themselves. I went, oh, okay. He said, yeah. So I've got my bison ones. I've been on the car a couple of weeks. Do you want those? Yes, please, mate. How much? Nothing. What? Nothing? Are you sure? I said, I'll, I'll have a postage and stuff. All right, I'll give you a bit of money. No, no, no. Don't worry about it, mate. No, no, no. Happy to help out. I thought, well, yeah, this bloke is just like up here now. Do you know what I mean? And then he turns around and goes, Oh, I've been, I was going to send you something anyway to uh, to help with the channel because I like what you do. And I was like, thanks, mate. Really appreciate that. And he's blinking. <laughs> so CF Skins, I've got a couple of their carbon fibre parts underneath the bonnet. He's only gone and blinking sent me the, um, the door pillar carbon insert thing, like covers as well. And I'm like, sweet Lord. Like, I am so thankful, mate, if you're watching this. You are a top bloke. Um, I can't wait to meet you at Jackfest Silverstone. Um, but yeah, honestly, I'm indebted to you. The cost of the parts that you've sent me, it would take me months to afford to get these parts. So I really, really appreciate it. You're a diamond. Um, we are at Mothers and Fathers now. So we're gonna jump out. Just do it. It's just a few little bits today, guys. It ain't nothing major. Oh, because also as well, and he also said to me, oh, I've got a couple of um, LED indicator bulbs for the rear. He had two sets. Do I want a set of those? Again, I said, yes, please. How much? Nothing. I mean, honestly, guys, the bloke's a legend. Follow, go, like, head over, follow all his socials, his Insta, his YouTube, everything. I'll drop it in the in the comment section down below. He's a diamond mate. You're a star. And also, shout out one of my subscribers. Look! Look at this! It's a little personalised air fresh. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah. Blown away by everyone. Like, literally. People are so nice. And I love you all. But this. Could this be a thing? Is it worth looking at doing? I don't know if anyone would buy them. If I did them. But no, yeah. I think it's wicked. Anyway. Straight to the video. It's just started to rain as well. Joy! <laughs> right, guys, so first job of the day. These little buggers. Just like LED indicators. Hopefully. They'll shine bright. But just a little thing I've been wanting to do for a while is LED up the back. So thanks, Andy. You're a star. Let's get on it. Uh, 
so it really easy to do this one guys look it's just literally right it, right i'm just going to show it to you now my boot is a mess um take your cover off got a plastic cover here this unclips and then it's just two screws one on top one on the bottom unscrew that a little bit of jimmy in now it comes so that's the one you want to get out there i think hang on no sorry it's the furthest one i'm not even videoing anything that one there so i'll get that out if the camera will focus i'll get that out and i'll get back on so guys i've done it well i've done one side so we're just going to do a test a test so there you go I don't know if it's picking out well. This is a side that I've done. This side, there, and I haven't done that side yet. But in person, they are bright. I'm gonna crack on and do the other side. You don't need to see that side, but they look awesome, guys. Proper job. So there you have it guys, it's as easy as that. To be honest, it's not hard is it? But um, they look 10 times better. Andy, you're a diamond. Right, on to the next job. Quite sure why guys, but I decided to cut halfway through, but hey ho. So, next job we're gonna do is the grill match. Um, it's really windy. I'm slightly worried about popping the bonnet open. See how it goes. Please don't. Uh, please don't judge me. I mean, everything's going really good so far, so we'll see. So one thing I will say, guys, right, is people will always say people have different opinions. So obviously, this car was a write-off when I bought it, um, and I've heard plenty of people say, "Oh, I'd never buy a write-off car because of the value of it," and blah 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 blah. Um, and equally, I've heard people say, you know, you can get a decent write-off car. You know, the things they write cars off for, these, this day and age, isn't nothing. So, um, but I find one advantage of having a car that's been written off before previously is if I take that screw out and that screw out, my whole grill lifts away quite happily. So, um, <laughs> it's not all doom and gloom. So anyway, I've taken the slam panel off along the front here um, I'm not sure don't quote me on this but I'm wondering if whether you have to um, remove the bumper to get the grill off originally I don't know but uh, I don't have to do that with mine so it's happy days so I'm gonna I think probably take the grill off and put the badge on because there's just a bit more movement more area to work in so I'm gonna unscrew that, get that off, and I'll come back to you. Right, so guys, as always, nothing ever goes to plan, does it? <sighs> okay, so I've taken my grill out. My grill is pretty mashed, to be fair. I feel like karma's come around and bit me after me going, oh, look how easy it is, because now <laughs> it's not easy. All, there was loads of screws all around it, so I've taken all the screws out, and then there's these push tabs, but every time you try and push them in, they keep popping back. Oh, it's a pain in the arse. And I don't know, I don't want to snap any of them because then I've got a drive around looking like that, which looks hideous. So, I'm really pushed for time as well today, so I think I might just have to pop the bolts back on. Pop the bolts back on, get it all done back up and get it back on. Maybe look at doing another job today, but that's annoyed me slightly. So guys, this is gonna be very quick. So as you can see, I've installed one of the LED indicator thingies, <laughs> things from Bison. So I'm gonna do this side. I can't really show you how to do it properly, but because my tripod's lame, but the way I've been seeing to do it is 
pulling with your glass off very carefully of course guys do it one hand it's amazing right and then there are some clips in here it's getting a flat head and going at those so I'm gonna do that and then come back to you there you go guys so it's off so it's just these clips here really you just put a flat head through and just jimmy the buggers off then you um plug I can't do this one handed I'm gonna do it in a minute so that's off guys then you need a T20 and do the three screws here Repping Cowabunga. Sorry guys, I'm using your jumper as a bit of a... Uh... Got it across the uh, the tools to stop them getting wet. I don't know why, but on both of mine, this one down here, it's rusty. It smells like the water's getting in. Not very nice. There's literally three T20s. I like this bit pops, guys. Oh, this is old, this one. Pair difference, I changed this one not long ago. Look at the difference of them! Scorsed them. And you get your new one. Make sure your bubble wrap doesn't blow away. Goes in like so. Like that. And then just put your T20s back in. Be careful with this bottom one. ever so fragile and truth be told I snapped me ever so I put that one back in which weren't great where's me oh. last one in so then it's just a case of putting it in fitting it back onto the car guys plug and play easy as that well guys well guys it's done oh. <laughs> apologies for my camera work but look at them proper do they look mind i've been wanting these for ages it's amazing now i'm thinking these need to go led the guys made up look at them Beautiful. Yeah, fun shot. Look at that. Back of the net. So, guys, that is the end of the video. Uh, just a couple of little things done on the car. Big guy to make the grill badge, but when does anything on my car ever go to plan up? Um, so, yeah. Thank you again so much to Andy at Limitations for sending me down those bits. Literally, you're a diamond. Um, I can't, I can't thank you enough, mate. Honestly, you're a star. Um, with these sequential mirror indicators now, though, I know that I want the carbon or the gloss black. Uh, hit my ride. Carbon My Ride? Carbon My Ride used to be in my Civic, didn't they? Or Carbon My Anyway, though, I want their either their carbon fibre or their gloss black uh, door handles and petrol cap covers. But, guys, head over to Carabunga Car Diaries if you're not subbed up to them already. I'm sorry for the camera. Um, if you're not subbed up to them already, which I'm sure you are, but if you're not, they're doing a the giveaway at the moment for, for five sets of the door handles and, and uh, petrol cap covers in gloss black for this from uh, Carbon My Ride. Um, so head over there and check them out, guys. If you're not, what are you doing with your lives, honestly? Uh, thank you very much to Danny, Rich and Jason at Dino Days for sponsoring the channel. As always, you guys are amazing. Um, shout out to everyone who I've shouted out as well, including I've shouted out quite a few people. Um, there's a new channel that I've just started watching. It's called Pants. 
I've forgotten. Do you know what I'm useless? If you notice, I do this all the time. I go, oh, I just got a, oh no, can't remember. Um, it's free, free jack. Yes, I think it's free jack. If that's wrong, I'll put it here. But it's FR33 jack. Um, another FN2 owner doing stuff on their car. Started watching his videos. Um, show, go over there, sub up, show him some love, like the videos, like it. Um, so that's gonna be all from me, guys. So if you uh, if you like the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And if you're not, you should, because it would mean a lot to me if you did. Um, and also, guys, hang on, let me just park a minute. <laughs> Also, guys, let me know what you think about the old air fresheners, these ones. Let me know what you think. Um, must be done. I'll catch you in the next one.